hello children the continuation of atom that electron orbits see rutherford nuclear model of the atom which involves classical concepts the pictures the atom as an electrically neutral sphere it consists of very small and massive positively charged nucleus at the center which is surrounded by the revolving electrons in their respective dynamically stable orbits these are all he explained about the electrostatic force of attraction between the revolving electron and the nucleus which is provide requisite centripetal force fc to keep them in their orbits see because uh, for a dynamically stable orbits in a hydrogen atom we must know that is fe which is equal to fc that is the electrostatic force of attraction which is equal to the centripetal force of force right so uh, that is mv square by r we know that the electrostatic force of attraction fe which is equal to mv square by r and fc which is equal to that we can uh, we must know that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon not e square by r square that is the value so from that only we got uh, the value that is r value which is uh, e square by 4 pi epsilon not mv square okay so uh, that because of that the kinetic energy which we finally we got the value which is m v square by r which is equal to z e square whole divided by 4 pi epsilon not r square okay we have taken the kinetic energy t in the form of t which is equal to half m v square by 2 sorry half m v square or m v square by 2 that is equal to z e square by 8 pi epsilon not r right so finally we got the kinetic energy value which is equal to z e square by 8 pi epsilon not r potential energy which is equal to that is u which is equal to minus e square by 4 pi epsilon not r that is z e square by 4 pi epsilon not r here the minus that negative symbol signs shows that the electrostatic force it, which is in the minus or direction that is okay opposite to that distance so that now we can get the total energy that is um, e which is equal to t plus u we know that so here the t which is equal to what z e square by 8 pi epsilon not r so minus z e square by 4 pi epsilon not r from that we got minus e square by 8 pi epsilon not r for the hydrogen atom is z value which is equal to 1 so that e square by 8 pi epsilon not r we got it so the total energy of the electron which is negative and this implies that the fact the electron is bound to the nucleus so if if, if suppose e where positive means an electron will will not follow a closed orbit around the nucleus that is the mean right so we can see that next term um, atomic spectra atomic spectra which is um, the each element has a characteristic spectrum of radiations actually which it emits and when an atomic gas or vapor is excited at low pressure usually by passing an electric current through it and its emitter radiations has a spectrum which contains certain specific wavelengths only see uh, this shows uh, you people are seeing on the screen that uh, emission lines of the spectrum series of the hydrogen see this consists of the bright lines on the dark background right so the spectrum emitted by what i said that atomic hydrogen atom see we are studying the emission of the line spectra of a material uh, through this um, diagram and uh, when white light passed through a gas 
and we analyze the transmitted light which is using a spectrometer we find some dark lines in the spectrum so these dark lines we can say that uh, the, the, this is a precise we can say wavelengths which were found in the emission of the line spectrum on the gas we can say that is the absorption of the spectrum which we are sending the particular uh, atom the gas right so we can uh, study the different spectral series of the hydrogen see we might expect that the frequencies of the light emitted by a particular element would exhibit some regular pattern the hydrogen which we have taken because of that is the simplest atom so it has the simple and simplest spectrum also in the observed spectrum you may see on the screen the first side that does not seem to be any resemblance of order or regularity in the spectral lines but the spacing between the lines within the certain sets of hydrogen spectrum get decreases in a regular way each of these sets only we are call it as a spectral lines so this only first it's observed this series the the, uh, the sweetest uh, the, is a teacher so john jacob palmer he got that in the visible regions of the hydrogen spectrum so we can call it as that as the palmer series you may see you may see on the screen the diagram of the palmer series uh, in the emission of the spectrum of hydrogen see uh, the line which we, we are seeing the longest wavelength that is 656 nanometer that we can call it as a red which is h alpha and the next line with the wavelength of 486 nanometer that is the blue green is called we can call it as a hydrogen beta so third line 434 that is the nanometer of the violet h that is um, gamma right so uh, like that the wavelengths are decreasing and uh, it is getting the lines appear uh, closer together uh, it is getting weaker with the intensity right and finally you may see in that uh, the n which is equal to infinite one which is obtained on the limit of the series that lambda value what we are seeing 364.6 nanometer this is the shortest wavelength in the palmer series so beyond this limit we we can't know no further distinct lines which is appear on that and uh, we can say that instead of only because of the faint continuous uh, spectrum only we can see that right so this is the shortest wavelength on the palmer series see uh, finally palmer he found a simple empirical formula for the observed wavelength he got 1 by lambda which is equal to r into 1 by 2 square minus 1 by n square this formula he observed for I mean he derived for the observing the wavelength which is on the uh, spectrum with the help of the spectrometer we can observe it and uh, you know that uh, the lambda is the wavelength and r which is called as the constant value we can get it that is 1.097 from the rydberg constant 1.097 into 10 power 7 per meter so this equation which we can call it as a palmer uh, formula okay suppose for example you have taken n which is equal to 3 means what will happen instead of the small n you have to apply that so we can get one uh, we can get the wavelength of h alpha how how we can get it i'll tell that you can uh, write note down and write it on your note 1 by lambda which is equal to instead of r you have to um, put the value 1.097 into 10 power 7 okay in the bracket 1 by 2 square minus 1 by instead of the n square you have to write 3 square so you will get finally 1.5 into 10 power 6 per meter so that is the lambda value of the h alpha you will get it in that way we will identify all the values and see that other series of the spectra of hydrogen were uh, subsequently discovered with the help of as we said that uh, after the discovery of the palmer lima pascan bracket like all they founded p1 series so these are the represented formulae 
which you are seeing on the screen that is lima for lima series 1 by lambda which is equal to r into 1 by 1 square minus 1 by n square so that is for the particularly ultraviolet region here the desired wavelength 